Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. This day we commemorate a Berber woman who died in 387 and was buried in Ostia. Ostia is the ancient port that served Rome. This is her epitaph. Here, the most virtuous mother of a young man set her ashes, a second light to your merits, Augustine. As a priest serving the heavenly laws of peace, you taught the people entrusted to you with your character. A glory greater than the praise of your accomplishments crowns you both, mother of the virtues, more fortunate because of her offspring. The woman is Saint Monica. Saint Monica is the, famously the mother of Saint Augustine of Hippo, who we're going to commemorate tomorrow. Monica is also the patron saint of married women, the patron saint of difficult marriages, the patron saint of disappointing children, the patron saint of victims of adultery and unfaithfulness, the patron saint of victims of abuse, and the patron saint of the conversion of relatives. And if any of you are listening tonight who did not find your own prayers mentioned in the list of patronage of St. Monica, think about it. Chances are you're there somewhere. Mothers of sons will recognize the tears and distress that Monica emulates and uh, patronizes because Augustine was not born a saint. Augustine was not even born a Christian. Augustine's father was a pagan and refused to allow Monica to have her child baptized until he was grievously sick and believed about to die. And then he withdrew that permission when the boy recovered. Nevertheless, the prayers and the tears of St. Monica over her son, even though they did not bear fruit when the boy was a child, even though they did not bear fruit when the boy was an adolescent, even though they did not bear fruit when the boy was a young man or even into his early adulthood, nevertheless bore great fruit, fruit that shaped and changed Christianity down unto this very day. Let us pray. St. Monica, you know how I am feeling because you once felt it yourself. I am hurting, hopeless, and in despair. I desperately want my child to return to Christ in his church, but I cannot do it alone. I need God's help. Please join me in begging the Lord's powerful grace to flow into my child's life. Ask the Lord Jesus to soften his heart prepare a path for his conversion, and activate the Holy Spirit in his life. Amen. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.